Good morning, my friends. It is Friday, December 11th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. And I do have my little voracious cat happily eating her breakfast. And let us light our Advent wreath today, this morning. Come into our hearts, Lord Jesus light of the world. And I have with me the things that help me pray. St. Francis. Jesus. Jesus. And Mary and the baby. We continue in Paul's second letter to the church in Thessalonica. Paul instructs his brothers and sisters, and he always calls them brothers and sisters because once someone is baptized, he considers them part of his family, the family of Christ, the body of Christ. They're all united in one community and fellowship. And that bond is more important than any other bond. So Paul says to his brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold on to the traditions that I have taught you. Stand firm and hold on to the traditions that I have taught you. Why do we practice the faith? Why do you watch this video? Why do we say prayers? Why do we attend worship? Why do we give generously? Why do we serve the poor? We do these things because we are holding fast to our traditions. And traditions are not rules to be worshiped. They're not the be all and end all. And they don't measure how faithful you are. If you say your prayers, you're good. And if you don't say your prayers, you're bad. They're not vehicles for guilt. But what they are, are posts things to hold on to. The mind of the human being is very distracted. It jumps around like a monkey all the time. And we desperately need things to hold on to, practices to exercise. Just as if you were exercising your physical body, you would wanna walk or run every day or do yoga. So it is with the soul and the spirit. We need to practice our faith. Just saying that we believe isn't enough. We have to walk in the path and the footsteps of Christ. And so like Jesus, who prayed in the early, early morning and late at night, we take time and set it aside for prayer. Like Jesus, we give everything. Like Jesus, we foster the community of faith and build up disciples. We do these things because in the practice, we are formed and shaped. I like to tell my congregation that practicing the faith and receiving the Holy Eucharist is like water dripping on a rock. It gradually shapes you and forms you, though you're not always exactly sure when. And sometimes it just seems like rote, like I just do this and I'm not even sure why. That's it. Hold on to the practice. Stand firm. Thank you for staying faithful with these videos. You are my brothers and sisters. We are all together in this and we need things to hold on to. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have brought us in safety to this new day in this second week of Advent. And you have given us the grace to battle temptation, to get us here to pray this morning. And we are grateful. Help us to hold fast to the traditions of the church so that we may grow and be shaped by you into the fullness of who you call us to be. Give us grace on this day to reach out in love to someone else, to listen, to bless. Help us to be lights in this world just as you are the light of the world. 
We ask you to bless the ill, especially those with the coronavirus. Bless the dying, especially Pat, who's on hospice. Bless those who are alone, those who are struggling financially. Lord, guide this nation, bring an end to this pandemic, and help us to awaken to new vocations as a human race. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son, who is the light of the world. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.